As many of you know, Johnny Depp made headlines last week when he attended the Rome Film Festival, where he was honored with a prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award. It was a heartwarming moment for Johnny, who, after years of legal battles and public scrutiny, appeared to be relishing the recognition of his decades-long career in film. His recent resurgence in Hollywood has been a feel-good story for many of his fans, especially following the highly publicized defamation trial between him and his ex-wife, Amber Heard. But while Johnny's appearance at the festival seemed like a celebratory, drama-free event, reports have surfaced that Meghan Markle tried to steal the spotlight, and it didn't go as planned. So, here's the scoop. Johnny was in Rome to walk the red carpet, accept his award, and enjoy what was clearly a monumental moment in his career. Photos of the evening showed Johnny smiling, waving to fans, and looking every bit the Hollywood star as he gave a heartfelt acceptance speech, thanking those who supported him through his highs and lows. For many, this night was a sign that Johnny had truly put his turbulent years behind him and was ready to focus on his future in the film industry. However, just a day before the big event, reports emerged that Meghan Markle had reached out to the festival organizers with a surprising last-minute request. Meghan allegedly wanted access to the red carpet so she could pose for photos with Johnny Depp. Considering the high-profile nature of the event and Johnny's massive global fan base, her presence would have surely drawn significant media attention. But here's where things get interesting. Johnny had never met Meghan, and there was no prior relationship between the two, making her sudden interest in being photographed with him seem a bit out of the blue. Sources say the festival organizers were hesitant about Meghan's request, not only because of the short notice, but also because of potential security concerns. After all, Meghan and Prince Harry are no strangers to generating media frenzy wherever they go, and adding them to the event at the last minute would likely have created a logistical headache for the organizers. But that wasn't the only issue. According to inside sources, when Johnny Depp was informed of Meghan's request, he made it clear that he did not want to share the spotlight with her. In fact, Johnny outright rejected Meghan's request to join him on the red carpet. Why would Johnny turn down such a high-profile opportunity? Well, insiders believe that Johnny saw right through Meghan's intentions. Having dealt with the paparazzi and publicity stunts for decades, Johnny likely felt that Meghan was trying to use his moment to boost her own image. After all, since stepping back from royal duties, Meghan and Harry have been working hard to carve out a space for themselves in Hollywood, but not all their efforts have been successful. Some have even accused the couple of being opportunistic when it comes to trying to rub shoulders with A-list celebrities. In this case, many are speculating that Meghan's request to be photographed with Johnny was more about gaining relevancy and positive headlines rather than supporting the event or Johnny's achievements. And Johnny, being the seasoned Hollywood veteran he is, wanted no part in what seemed like a calculated move on Meghan's part. For Johnny, this night was about celebrating his career and enjoying a moment of triumph after years of public battles, not about becoming a pawn in someone else's PR game. Of course, this isn't the first time Meghan has been accused of making questionable moves when it comes to inserting herself in a high-profile situations. Since moving to California with Prince Harry, the couple has been trying to position themselves as Hollywood power players, but their efforts often come across as a bit forced. Last year, for example, Meghan and Harry reportedly reached out to pop star Adele and talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, trying to secure an introduction for a potential interview on their now-canceled Spotify podcast. But Adele, much like Johnny, politely declined to get involved. Meghan has also shown up uninvited to political events and concerts, hoping to mingle with high-profile politicians and celebrities. One such example was the Global Citizen Live concert in New York, where Meghan was reportedly backstage trying to engage with members of Congress, even though she wasn't invited. Incidents like these have caused some people to view Meghan's actions as more self-serving than altruistic, and her latest attempt to crash Johnny Depp's moment at the Rome Film Festival seems to fit that pattern. Whether or not Meghan's intentions were genuine, Johnny's decision to reject her request sent a clear message. He wasn't interested in becoming part of a publicity stunt. And good for him. Johnny Depp has spent years navigating the ups and downs of fame. And after finally finding his way back into Hollywood's good graces, it's no surprise he wants to protect his moment of recognition from unnecessary distractions. 
So, what do you all think? Was Meghan Markle out of line for requesting a last-minute photo op with Johnny Depp? Or was this just a misunderstanding? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to Fame Finder for more updates on this story and all the latest celebrity drama. Stay tuned for more exclusive insights and behind-the-scenes details on your favorite stars.